Hey folks, this is Tico here, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. So last time we spent a bunch of time beating our heads against the ocean, uh, but did manage to get through the energy shield at the middle of Giant's Deep. We found the probe tracking module and discovered that one of the probes had found the location of the Eye of the Universe. Um, I have no idea how to translate those coordinates, but I'm assuming that I will come across some other equipment that will. So, um, today I would like to head over to the Sunless City on uh, the Ember Twin. We didn't really take a look around there much. Um, I would like to poke around. There are things in there that I would like to learn. Um, I'd like to discover if they found a way to avoid the anglerfish um, in the uh, Dark Bramble, because I'd like to go poke around there as well too, so this will be fun. Perfect. That is exactly how I intended to land. Alright, let's do this. And this time I've actually got a timer running. So hopefully I'll know when the sun is about to explode. Oh man, it's been a long time since we've been here. These were the days. And hopefully I still remember how to get through this. I think it was this one, right? Yes, cavern. Alright, let's do this. Alright, welcome back. When was the last time we were here? I don't actually remember. I mean, I could look, but I'm not gonna. And even though it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna close this door because it makes me feel better. Alright, so, um, I want to explore all the districts, of course, but I do want to start with the High Energy Lab, because although I was there, some of you people were very angry that I did not spend enough time exploring it. So we'll do that. High Energy Lab Trailhead. Which is the one... Sorry, I gotta look over here. Uh, way down at the bottom, right. So it's actually the one that I don't have a lot of time to explore. What with the whole sand thing. So, we will just get through here by following our extension cord. Hmm. Now, if I remember correctly, and I almost certainly don't, I have to wait until the sand gets a little deeper here so I can get across. Hopefully I'm right about that. It's annoying, because I have to follow this extension cord, because I don't know of any other way to get there. But yeah, I can't jump up against this sand or jet against it. It's too powerful. So I have to wait until I can just kind of walk past it, more or less. Otherwise, I can just stand around and, and, like, constantly repair my spacesuit, but I'd rather not. For example... Uh-oh. I better better get moving here. Okay, come on. Yeah, so much for that air. <laughs> Alright. So, here we are. So we've got these things here. And apparently, if I move some of these around in different ways, it'll do interesting things. Um, so we've got black holes and white holes. I don't see why it would matter, but apparently people were, again, very concerned that I didn't do this right. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Oh, that's right. This opened this up. Oh, launch scouts. Where do these go? Okay. Well, obviously I can't go that way. What if I shoot it this way? <laughs> cool. Useless? Yes. Kind of cool? Also yes. So, let's take a look up here. I know that we've read this stuff already, but let's take a look at it again. Yes. Warp core receiver. Yep, this explains our time lag. Yep, and we decided to build some stuff. We've taken a look through all this before. Just, people seemed really concerned that I'd missed something, and I honestly don't know why. We read all these. Or did I just not get to see the black hole in the white hole last time? Was that the only thing that I'd missed? Because that would be kind of cool, if so. I mean, I think I just threw two random things in last time. That could be the case. I don't know. Let's take a look at this receiver. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do here. It's just waiting to get power or something for whatever. Okay. Well, I mean, this is fine. This doesn't really give us an extra way in because the door is locked from the outside, so... Alas. Oh yeah, there's a campfire over here. Did I know that from last time? It doesn't seem like it. Did I... Hello. There we go. Chert. 
Hey man, what's going on? I don't think I've ever talked to you. Oh, hey, it's you. Take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. So, what are you doing up here? Ah, uh, Hornsfell noticed our star charts are out of date, so I came out here to update them, but something seems... How to put this? Off. I've seen, what, 10 powerful supernova by now? 12? They're in the double digits now, and that's, you know, not normal. Not normal at all. Um, is there something you needed? Hey, I have... You, are you the third mask? So, we don't know why the Novas keep going. Uh, they keep going supernova when they reach the end of their lifespan, so it's possible the stars are older than we realized. Or maybe our models are wrong, and they don't live as long as we expected. Honestly, I'm not fond of either option. If our charts are wrong, what else is wrong? And our sun... Well, no, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm probably overlooking something. That's it. I just need to collect more data. Really? Okay, so you're not the third mass, but you've been seeing other stars go nova? Okay, so I found no my writing about a hidden planet. How well, fascinating. Might interest you to know that the existence of an additional planet is extremely plausible if you look at the physics of our solar system. It would just have to be incredibly far out there, farther than Harthian ships would be able to travel. And honestly, we don't really know all that much about what's out there. The farther you go, the less we know. As such, it's well within the realm of probability that such a planet exists. Um, let's see here. So we found Nomai writing about the Sun Station. Ah, is that what's in orbit around the Sun then, do you think? This Sun Station? Quite clever of the Nomai to devise a way to study the Sun up close and personal. Must have been tremendously difficult to construct, and hot inside, I can only imagine. I wonder how they were able to travel back and forth from the Sun Station and the Hourglass Twins when the slightest slip-up would have meant a fiery death. Well, if it makes you feel any better, buddy, I don't really know either. So, alright. Well, this was interesting. We definitely have not met him before. So what are these? Is there anything interesting here? Or is this just where I get covered in sand? Hey, there's your ship. <laughs> I don't know. Have we been in here? I don't know. Let's go take a look. We might as well, right? What else are we going to do with our time? Because now, if I want to explore any further, I have to wait until the next cycle. So we'll just poke around a little bit here. And that's already eight minutes away, so I don't really want to hang out. Hey, where do these stairs go? Sorry, wrong movie. Actually, I don't know where these stairs go. Where is this? Um, Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole several days ago, and now we're unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. I only beg any friend reading this, help us recover Coleus. The lake bed. There's a cave at the lake bed at the North Pole. Okay. Uh, this rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I meant earlier. Wasn't this the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? We plan to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. It's behind me, isn't it? As an update, Mallor and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed the rock again. Sometimes it's there, and sometimes it isn't. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon. How curious. I... Jesus. Yes, it's nice to see you. Actually, you could lead me to where the cave is. Maybe. Provided that that's where you are right now. Or we could just go to the North, north Pole. Uh, red is north. Or am I going to die in here? I think I might die in here, actually. Oh, actually, no. This is fine. And actually, we're just about there. So where is that shard? Oh, it went back there. Stupid thing. I needed you to be out here. Yeah, well, here's the North Pole. So, that's about it. Unless there's something interesting in here. Yeehaw. Well, it's not covered up yet. Or is this the cave shard? Well, hello, my friend. Hello. 
Friends, if you find any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me he vanished without a trace uh, during our research trip. Yeah. Uh, some of us from the Sunless City are sent out here to help for Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Burr. Coleus and I were studying the uh, cave's geology. We'd hope to learn about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. I know. Uh, and where was young Coleus lost? He disappeared at the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed. It happened in an instant and without warning. I turned away from Coleus to examine a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there. He has a limited supply of air. We will learn my bias, uh, learn more by exploring the northern lake bed. Yep. No time to squander. Yeah, I see you, Rock. Now you see it? Now you don't. Just curious if you'd tell me anything. Yeah. Let's try going up. Oh, no, we can't go up. Yes, we can. Right here. Is this where I came from? I hope not. Y yes. Yeah, I think so. No, because we're not at the North Pole. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. Oh, no. Well, not this cycle. Alas. I don't suppose I can get the cave shard to reappear and give me any hints. No, it's already filled in too much. All right. Well, I wonder if we can make it back to our ship and go watch and see what happens when the Ash Twin activates. I've got four minutes by my clock, I think. And my ship is all the way on the other side of the planet. Maybe. Good thing my ship floats, huh? All right. So let's refill our health here quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's set it as the correct target. Whoa, hey, that's not helpful. Ash Twin. Yep. Did I set that as the wrong target? No, here it is. Wow, we are really close to the sun. Is it exploding already? No, it's just enormous. I did not know it did this. Oh, come on, let me get over here. I'm really concerned that I'll miss it. Oh, this thing is really cruising. Oh, I was hoping to get close enough to get into landing mode. But it's not going to help him. Nope. Crap. No, I'm definitely not going to have time. Oh, my poor ship. You try so hard. That sounds suspicious like a sun coming towards me, doesn't it? Alright, come on. I may simply not be able to get close enough to it when the sun is this big, because this thing! I can't even keep up with where I was, much less going anyplace else. Come on, baby. You got this. Do we got this? We kind of got this. Yeah, we got this. No, we don't got this. Let's just, let's land. Here, come on. Hold on. Whoa. Sorry, ship. I'd wanted to land up here right have a good view. Holy cats are removing fast. Um, I guess I can unbuckle and head out. Okay, so now we can see, here we go, whatever these antenna things are. We can see the sun getting ready to go Nova. Well, I thought they might do something. Maybe not. Maybe we'd have to find the sun station to get a good view of, like, the whole world exploding. Hmm. Hmm. I would love to get to a place where I can kind of keep the sun in view as well as one of these antennas, but that may or may not happen. Doesn't it seem like I will spend the last couple of minutes at each uh, cycle just kind of sitting here and staring at the sun with nothing interesting to say? Because it seems like that to me. It's getting lumpy. That's not good. 
You never want your star to be lumpy. Well, here we go. I guess I'm going to keep my eye on the antenna instead. We already know what the star collapse looks like. More or less. Yep, there it goes. And do you do anything? Nope. Okay. Well, even so, that's knowledge in and of itself. Good morning. So let's go take a look at our logs here. I do want to go find that person that was lost in the southern or in the northern cave. I'm not going to lie. That's actually really interesting to me. I may do that as kind of a side quest. All right, anything new in here? Yep. Yep. Okay, so we found the camp. Yep, set up a camp um, on the North Pole. An unusually high number of supernova. That worries me greatly that, like, they may be causing other supernovae. All right, quantum caves. The Nomai uh, noticed an interesting wandering rock that appeared in multiple caves on Ember Twins' northern hemisphere. Yep, we found it. Yep. So the wandering rock was first spotted in a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twins' north pole. Yes. Okay, so nothing particularly interesting there. We already knew that, but that's okay. We looked at this stuff. Oh, yeah. That's right. We want to learn about that anglerfish. I mean, obviously, that was my plan all along. Yeah, there's more to explore at the Hanging City. Should we... How much time do we have? Basically, none. Um... Let's wander over there quick. So we're going to want to find the North Pole by using, um... Not the scout launcher. Go away. Uh, the... Here we go. Looking for chert. Because that'll tell me more or less where the North Pole is. 321 meters. Okay. Hey, there we go. So. Caves. Oh, these caves. Perhaps. Whoa. Hi. Why am I flying in here with my spaceship? I don't know, man. I don't know why I do half the things I do. You're right. Let's just hop out. Spaceship. We'll be back for you. Probably. Hello. This is quite a deep cave. And... I don't know if I have time to go anywhere. Let's find out, though. Okay. Um, We want quantum fluctuations? This... No, not that way. Cave shard is 131 meters. But that's the other cave, right? I don't know. We're gonna get stuck if I don't get moving, so it's like... <laughs> I better get moving. Okay, not this way. Let's check this other path. Oh, God. Well, friends, I found an interesting new place to die. There is, uh... No way through and no way back. <laughs> At least as far as I can tell. There may be a way through, but if there is, I can't see it. So that's kind of interesting in and of itself. That we have found a place to end this cycle by standing down here and then suffocating and then being crushed. So, on that positive note, let's go ahead and take a break. Thanks for watching. See you next time.